Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, people. Today, we're gonna do plow damage, but I'm not gonna do any plow damage. It's very windy today. Everything is getting uh, fronted on the ground because it's like 14 degrees today, which is annoying. But today, we're gonna be doing, taking everything out. I got the trucks over there. We're gonna put some plows on them. We're gonna put plows on those two over there. The trailer, we have to fill them up with, with snow blowers, get them all ready and dandy. We're gonna uh, start everything, all those key steers, everything working properly. And then that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. So because the snow, it is coming, it is, we're supposed to have at least one to three inches. I'm assuming the first, the first inch or so is gonna be melted. So I'm assuming we're gonna put in around uh, two inches on the ground. But one of the problems with that is, is that people that they were working for me, they had jobs. They have found jobs and things like that. So it's always a struggle to find people. Um, Nick, which is one of my plow drivers, um, he can't plow anymore for me. His back is too bad. Like L, five, three, seven, one of those things, it has collapsed. They all collapsed on him. So he's always in pain and all that stuff, so he can't drive anymore. So as of right now, I got Austin, me, Doug, as a plow driver for sure. Seth is gonna come back to help me out for this storm. And I'm hoping that Mike, which is one of the other guys, hopefully he can help me with this one too. But yeah, we're so shorthanded, which is amazing because I've never been shorthanded for plow drivers, uh, only in the beginning you know, when I started plowing. Shovelers, yeah, shovelers are all, I was always short and it was always a struggle, but on this season, for some reason, the, the drivers are the struggle. You know, no license and things like that, so that's always a struggle, so. But anyhow, we're gonna get cracking. We're gonna move the, we have to fix a dump truck, get it set up with the salter, the red truck had to be moved to the salter and connect plow to all of them. So, and I got a glove today, today, because my finger gets really, it, it gets cold again, it hurts with this type of weather. So I got a glove today, so to keep it warm. Um, other than that, I'm gonna look like Michael Jackson. Ooh -hoo. See. Yeah. So this is where we at. We turn on that truck. That truck, it takes a while. It has a cord on it to keep it. Uh, we put a, uh, I don't know, like a trigger for the battery. Uh, I don't even know how to call it. But I'm gonna take this truck right here. I'm gonna take it to the highway. I'm having problem that every if I don't use it on the highway, I don't get, I don't, it doesn't burn the fuel enough. So I, it gets clogged. That's the problem with that. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, so right now, I'm gonna get a uh, def, and I I'm gonna, it. and I'm gonna get. No, está prendida. Um, and I'm gonna get def, and I'm gonna get a gas card. And the guys are gonna connect the plows for now. So that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, yeah, people. Well, I'm on the highway right now. And from my understanding is that I had to bring the truck on the way to 2,500 RPM in order to keep the def, like the diesel, exhaust, whatever, um, up to you know keep it clean so i don't have any problem the problem that I, the, the reason i'm doing this is because we drive this truck through the city a lot and if i don't go through the highway it's not gonna burn it enough so i'm doing that because now we're gonna go out plowing and typically typically it's a lot of back and forth back and forth but we don't go over uh, 2500 rpm constantly so this is what i'm trying to do i put it in manual uh, I had it at 4M or M4 and hopefully that will do the trick so that we never have problems. So. We're heading back to the shop now so I can help the guys out, you know, putting installing the plows, installing the, the salters on and then we'll go from there. Well, this is how we roll. Now we're going to put these plows outside. right here that's for the s70 and 
these are all attachment for the S70. And that's a temp for or the weeding. So but that's a different subject for a free, different day.
there's not that much grease or fluid film on these things. And this things right here, it gets really hard to pull. So that's exactly what's going on. It's coming. It's coming, but it's very, very hard. So we're gonna go at it until we get it out. And that usually happens when we don't use them as much or when it doesn't have any fluid film or grease. That's fine. Yeah, well, if a that probably just go around. He just tried to be in the front of it so that we didn't have a problem pushing the plow. Dale! But a boom. Well, all the plows are done. They're all done. So now we just find out that the, the dump truck is leaking. Uh, transmission fluid so now we're gonna go and get a filter because it's coming out of the oil filter but I think the oil filter is busted so we're gonna fix that up and then the red diesel is leaking diesel so we have to fix that too before the storm oh Chevy but well, this is what you have to keep on top of Chevy because otherwise you get screwed well let's go to Napa and get a filter an oil filter well I went to Napa I went to Napa, I got a, a filter, and they gave me a free hat. They gave me a free hat. The guys use it. They um they usually wear this sock as that. I usually wear, you know, long force gear. That's all the gear that you need to keep you warm in the winter. And on top of that, to look good. 
So let's put the filter on because I'm assuming, hopefully it's not a pain in the ass. Put it on. I had to write tools for it. So let's, uh, let's, let's go at it. Well, I don't have that much room, but this is the pliers that I use. Very handy. Ah, man, this thing is like really rusted out. Now, how much oil is in here? I had no idea. But I just had to take it out. And go for it. Put oil on the seal so it makes a good seal. Bring this up a little bit. Just turn it around. And of course, I'm gonna have to clean it once I'm done with it. Because I can't even tie it. Now we just, uh, now I'll clean it, you know, with uh, brake fluid. But this is, you know, this oil pan doesn't have any protection for when we're plowing or anything like that. So like the motor does, like right here, this is a chio, that you have a chio like that, which I'm missing a pan, like a, a screw right here. But this thing, you know, and I even think that this bent right here I think this is from plowing or something, so. But other than that, people, we are done with this project. Well, we're gonna put now the def. This is like, I don't know, $15 now. It used to be like $10, but we're gonna put it in the blue cap right here. So we're gonna fill this sucker up and then I use this nozzle says that I'll be done with this container to put the oil for the transmission because it fits inside the dipstick. That's a new trick for you, huh? huh, huh, huh? Now I use this for right here. See? Now it works like a funnel. If you had like a bigger battery, you can still connect this part 
to the bottle but this is a smaller i guess smaller cord but if you use like a five gallon i think it has the same size too so which should help but now you take this and this has a funnel let's give it a shot and i'll tag you along Get the fluid. Trainers on. It needs a little bit of more oil but we are good to go so that my friend that's how you do it oh shit people well that's a red truck now we're gonna go to the to a creek automotive which is my mechanic just for the fact that it's leaking diesel and it's not coming from the hose it's coming from the actual pump oh no from the oh from the fuel filter so and if i'm not wrong we changed that up a while back but i think because it was used i think that's where the product came so let's see what they're gonna say um i need a fix sweet plow with that truck it's not that i'm gonna be using all the plow trucks this time because i don't have everybody with me but i like to have everybody every every truck available just in case all right people well we are digging done 
All the trucks are ready. My truck is ready. And then we put, we put the salters back. The inside here, over here. We might be putting salt on these two trucks today because I don't have no salt here anymore. So I had to go and get it from Chum because my salt is way over there. I got the dump truck fixed. The red truck, I don't know if I'm gonna get, I don't know when I'm gonna get that one because it's the, uh, it's the, the fuel filter. So we have to get, I don't know if they have it in stock, so. But other than that, we are diggy down, so we are ready. So, bring up the snow! All right, shit, people. Well, I am done for today. I just made it to my house, but people, I'm getting ready for that storm. Um, tomorrow or tonight, we're gonna be putting some salt on the bins, on the, on the salters, so that we can have them ready, keep them inside the shop. And everything and hopefully everything goes well i call all the shovelers already i call the plow guys already i'm still short um this is the first time in, in years that i've been short out of plow guys but you know we get it cracking we'll be fine um i got seth coming in to help me out and everything so but other than that we are good to go but remember guys to subscribe to the channel because it really helped me a lot um Leave me a comment below to see what, how do you guys do, how you guys prep, and how you guys find people to help you guys out and how to keep them. That's a very good question. And I, I ask that question to everybody because I want to know how to keep uh, people from season to season instead of just working for me just for a season. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next.